I am here to talk to you about something very important today. It's a serious threat to the entire nation. I am not talking about the threat of nuclear war from a country that cannot tell the difference between their head and their ass. The vegetarian. 42% of the people of the country are vegetarians. And what do vegetarians eat? Trees, leaves, uh, grass and flowers and stuff, wheat, uh, moles, whatever. The point is, vegetarians are the biggest threat to the entire nation, nature as we know it. Every four seconds, the world loses a part of the rainforest, the size of a football field. And on top of that, we got these veggies, pin heads, killing vegetation just so they can eat. Tigers are becoming extinct. Is it because they are being killed and sold as dishes in five-star hotels? No. They are dying because you damn vegetarians are eating their homes. I mean, I mean, yes, maybe we could all cut down on consumption which would stop industries from encouraging on agriculture land. But this is not about me. It's all about you. Let's take the ban on beef from example. You say that the cow is sacred and revered. That is why you don't eat them. Instead, you keep them alive just so you can physically violate them and drink their bodily excrement. And don't forget the social division, seconded only by the brutal and demanding caste system. When you go to a non veg restaurant, we are kind enough and tolerant enough to have that option on the menu for our mentally challenged brother and sisters. And yet, when people like us go to a veg restaurant, there's nothing to cater for our needs. You force us to follow your rules and either eat rabbits, food, or stop to death. See, we bring people together. It's been scientifically proven that talking to a plant makes it grow faster and live longer. It's been scientifically proven that when you talk to a chicken, it means you are fucked in the head. Plants and trees. Think of what they do for us. They give us oxygen, shade in the sun, beautiful scenery. What do chickens give us? We keep them alive. Bird flu and cows, mad cow disease, and it does not in there. You people kill plants just to decorate your home. I mean, what kind of sick people decorate their home with the lifeless carcasses of their food? What is that? To send a warning out to all the other vegetables. I mean, do you see us meat eaters decorating our homes? With chicken drumstick or T-bone sticks? No. You idiots are ruining lives of other creatures too. Bees and need plants to have sex. Because of you bees cannot have sex. This world is going to end with a swarm of sexually frustrated bees attacking us. And why not? ever hear of the food chain well if you have not go take a look at 
it it's full of animals do you see any leaves or trees or veggies burger on there do you you people don't exist in nature you idiots and then we have got agitarians the bisexual of the food world i mean come on make up your mind already chintuna and you talk like you are better than us for eating and act instinct of eating a chicken ho oh, really well think about this for a second at least us meat eaters let the chicken live its life enjoy itself fall in love and then kill it once live a full and happy life you people kill it before it's even born you are like a bunch of sick animal pro abortionist but in the end of the day our hands are tired i mean we are out number not to mention this veg happy government we have but we non veggies need to stick together we will have our day one day trouble is you cannot tell who is one of us and who is not i could be a room with a vegetarian right now i have heard stories i had a buddy he was just walking down the street and out of nowhere bam stuck down by fly carrot now i saw him again you what are keep your eyes peel i know i am risking my life just talking about oh my god abhi tak aapne subscribe nahi kiya kya वैसे भी तो आप सबको दबाते ही हो एक बटन दबाने में आपको प्रॉब्लम तो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल एंड एंजॉय एवरी संडे न्यू शो इंडिया सर